Hello friend, I am Naval. You are watching Code with Naval. Welcome to Java series part 57. In our last video, we saw buffer reader, buffer writer. Then we saw file reader, file writer and input stream reader, output stream writer. In this video, we are going to discuss about a print writer. So print writer class used for a write something on a console or we can write something on a file using a print writer class. Here a Java print writer class simply extend a writer class. It is used to print text console or in a file. We have a two option, write on a console or we can simply write on a file. For writing a console, we have to simply create object and we simply write here system.out. We simply call here stream class, output stream class. Okay. And here we have a write dot write method. Here we have a write method. We, we can simply use this write method and we can simply write something here that we want to write ok so let's open eclipse and i'll show all this in a practically i'll simply create here class let's create here class i'll simply create here p writer ok and inside a p writer i'll simply create a main method ok let's create here main method here let's create here print writer object i'll simply create a print writer pw equal to new print here you can see this constructor this constructor required either file object or it's required either output object output system system output stream object okay let's create this output stream object i'll simply create a system system dot out okay simply here create a system dot out then we want to print something on a console let's create here pw dot write method we have a write method here this write method accept a different different argument here you can see character integer string okay let's write let's we will simply pass here string this is print print writer console okay let's write let's save this and i will simply run this run as a java application and you can see you don't get anything here because we didn't close this connection okay let's flush and close this connection pw dot flush then pw dot close okay let's save and run this application again and let's see you can see here this is print writer console okay Remember when whenever you perform some write operation that time you have to flush that operation and then you have to close connection Whatever connection you open you have to close that connection Okay, this one this uh, this example is a Simply write something on a console using a print writer class. Okay. Now I want to write something inside a file Okay for that I have to create let's create a print writer one more object print writer pw1 equal to new print okay print writer here you can see in this constructor we can pass either file object or we can pass either output stream object this uh, this above example we simply pass output stream object now i want to pass file object okay let's create here directly we can create here also new file and this file required a path actual path okay let's provide actual path i'll simply copy this path okay and i'll simply paste this folder location path and i want to create here one file here we have already demo for file i'll simply create here demo file dot txt okay let's save this now you can see this one is a throwing error because we have to delegate this exception then we have a here option simply write here pw1 dot pw1 dot write here we have a write method okay i want to write something okay this one is write operation operation using print writer print okay then remember we have to flush and we have to close connection okay simply pw1 dot 
फ्लश एंड पी डब्ल्यू वन डॉट क्लोज ओके लेट सेव दिस नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू रन अगेन दिस एप्लीकेशन के लेट्स रन you can see the first one is executed properly let's check our file is created or not you can see here our file is created then let's open this file you can see inside this file here we have a, this one is a write operation using a print writer here you can see we simply write this string inside this object pw1 okay and inside this pw1 we simply call this demo file.txt file okay in this way we can simply perform a write operation on a console or inside a file we can simply write any text using a print writer class okay for this video that's it we will see next topic in a next video till that bye bye